Welcome to the Scotian Canadian Studios, brought to you by nothing. Woo! If you happen to like this t-shirt, you can snag it on my Etsy store. The description is down in the comments. And if you share any of my recent videos, you'll have a chance to win this hat. Cheers, guys. Go Habs, go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live at the Halifax Forum. Big game tonight. Sell out crowd. 450 people on Halifax showed up. And guess what? About 75% of them are already good and intoxicated. Take it away, Scotian Canadian. What's going on, Maddie, and everyone at home? This place is absolutely bumping on this nice and loud Father's Day evening. Now, first of all, let me say it's an honor to be joining the hockey junkie up in the press box at the Halifax Forum. We got some hard nosed action coming for you tonight. We got two maritime teams battling it out. Woo! And we got an injury update here to start. Unfortunately, Brad Marchand could not lace it up for Nova Scotia tonight as he sprained his tongue trying to get the moon mist out of the bottom of a waffle cone down at the waterfront. So filling in tonight will be Liam O'Brien at a Fairview, Nova Scotia. And yet another act of selflessness and leadership during a ceremony on the Dartmouth Ferry last night with Ann Murray and the Trailer Park Boys in attendance. Sidney Crosby passed the torch and bestowed the C onto the jersey of Nathan McKinnon. It was a touching moment. Was it ever, junkie? Bagpipes in the background and all. Now we're in this building and it is absolutely rocking in here. As soon as the boys hopped off the ferry and showed up at this game, it got pretty loud in here. Thanks for joining us tonight and we'll be back with you for live updates from this historical hockey event out on the east coast of Canada. We're back here at the Halifax Forum in Nova Scotia for this action-packed hockey game and check out the highlights here. We got 75-year-old Doug Grant from Corner Brook, Newfoundland making some beauties out there stretching out. Incredible. I spoke with Doug Grant before the game and he says he's in tip-top condition. The best shape of his life, man. But Nova Scotia keeps the pressure on and it's that patented backhand from Sidney Crosby fed from his buddy, Nicole Harbour, Nova Scotia, Nathan McKinnon. It was bound to happen eventually. These guys are just dominant together, man. And we got an aggressive game going on here tonight. Lots of big hits. Specifically, it seems like Nathan and Adam Party out of Bonavista are going at it. These two don't like each other at all. Lots of bologna sandwiches going on out there. Combo, combo hits. Now check out this rush here from the Newfoundland coasters. Right up the middle of the ice through the neutral zone with speed. It's Dawson Mercer. To Alex Newhook. Nasty toe drag to Michael Ryder for the goal. What a goal, Michael Ryder. Look at that silly. He's like he's he's like he's 18 all over again. Somebody get him up off the ice. And that's all the action from Halifax here in the first period. We'll be back to you soon here. What a goal. What a goal, man. Second period. Three minutes in, Newfoundland's got a face off deep in Nova Scotia's zone, and look at the boys out here. They're trying to go up by one, and Michael Ryder gets the job done. To tie it up for the Newfoundland Coasters. My favorite player as a young boy, actually. It's good to see him up on the board, despite myself being a uh, blue noser. That was a beauty. Michael Ryder from Bonavista, and we've seen him do this a lot of times before. What a shot. What a release he's got. Now check out this broken play here from McKinnon and Crosby. McKinnon takes some contact in the slot there, but Crosby buries the trash to tie it back up. Adam Party going for the kill. Goes for the hit on McKinnon, and it backfires. Liam O'Brien then gets shut down by Doug Grant, and we see Newfoundland come up the ice the other way. On the rush. Going for it. Oh, the shot pass. Shot pass from Adam Party, and look at that. Alex Newhook buries it, 
What a beauty. Another player that used to play with Montreal, along with Michael Ryder, and now they're, now they're just playing for Newfoundland. You probably make more money back there anyway, eh? Oh, I'd, I'd absolutely... The tax is out here. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> Nasty finish by Alex Newhook here, but... Dying seconds of the second period. We got Dawson Mercer up the ice, but Crosby with the patented back no, check, and no, now he's no, up the no. wing to McKinnon. And we get a tie game, folks. God, that one stings. We were just about to go into the third period with a massive lead over Nova Scotia, but these these Scotians, man, they just won't go away. Welcome back, folks, to the historical Halifax Forum in Nova Scotia. If you're just joining us, I'm here with the one and only hockey junkie, and we're enjoying some maritime hockey action here. And to start the third period early, Nathan McKinnon with a nasty move, setting up this goal for his fourth point of the night, and it's Inverness's own Al McKinnis with the patented heat seeker. Adam Perry just got swayze Scotia. He got swayze on that one, danced up. And we'll continue here. We got a 4-3 game now for Nova Scotia. And it's Newfoundland up the ice. Pressing. We got Dawson Mercer to Alex Newhook in the middle. What a bomb. Clap bomb from Alex Newhook. Is that a second goal of the night? I'm pretty sure it is. He is on a roll. Michael Ryder's got a pair. And now Alex Newhook answers back once again with a pair of his own. Joey McDonald did his best there. But there was too much firepower on that shot. He's no Dougie. <laughs> you got that right, Maddie. I've never seen anything like it. I gotta give him credit. Gray hair in a blue crease at some point. Oh! Yeah. Scratch that, buddy. Right, That's a goes. heartbreaker for Newfoundland. Al McKinnis with another heat seeker. This time from the point he blasts at home for Nova Scotia to take the lead. That one stings, man. Not gonna lie, that one stings. But can you imagine from a goaltending perspective, like look at this. Look what he's staring at. Staring down an Al McKinnis slap shot is is right up there with getting your colon chick, man. Unfortunately, Michael Ryder takes a late interference call to set Newfoundland back, but they get the net empty anyway and go for one final push. It's Alex Newhook. Come on, Newhook, you only got a few seconds of... Oh, man, shit. That's terrible, man. Like, I, I know you're excited. Nova Scotians got to be excited right now, but for Newfoundland, this is like, this is like the Cod Moratorium. All over again, it's devastation right across the island. What an absolute burn burner of a hockey game here tonight, folks. And it was an honor to call this with my good buddy, Hockey Junkie. Great time as always, man. I can't wait to get back at it again with you. Time for some donairs, bud. And we got some good news, folks. Hockey Junkie's going to join me for episode two of this limited edition series. And we are going to talk about the exciting future that is ahead for this young, skilled and talented Montreal Canadiens hockey team.